Good morning, dear students. My name is Miss Om Omi, and I will be teaching you English for this academic session. I'm looking forward to a year of learning, fun, and adventure, and I'm very excited to be your new English teacher. Today, in class two, we are going to start with the very first lesson from your learner's English grammar and composition book, page five. Naming words. Repeat after me. Naming words. Now, can anyone tell me what are naming words? I think you have already studied this in class one. First, let me tell you. All right. Everything in this world has a name, isn't it? So, all names or naming words are nouns. All right. Naming words can be the names of persons. Animals, place, and things. Now, let us take a look at the names of persons. All right. So, all these words used for persons are called naming words. Examples are man, doctor, women. Girl, boy, baby. Now, let us take a look at more examples of names of persons. Clown, uncle, brother. Isn't it? These are all names of persons. Now, can anyone give me more examples? Yes. Actor. Nurse, yes, these are all examples of names of persons. Now, let us take a look at the names of animals. All right, giraffe, monkey, tiger, lion, elephant, Bear, yes, these are all names of animals. Can you tell me more names of animals? Yes, very good. Cow, zebra, yes, very good. These are the Names of animals, right? Now, let us take a look at the name of places, all right? You go to the market to buy vegetables, isn't it? So, market is the name of a place, right? School. You go to school to study, right? So, school is name of a place. Garden. Hill. Can anyone tell me more names of places? Yes, very good. Church. Uh, can you tell me more? Street. Very good. Now, let us take a look at the name of things. All right. You are sitting on a chair, isn't it? So, a chair is a name of a thing. Tree, fan, clock, computer, desk. These are all names of things. Now, can you tell me more names of things? Yes, very good. Pen. 
Yes, pencil. So these are all names of things. So today we have studied naming words, isn't it? Now we are going to look at page 5 of your English grammar and composition book. Alright, here we have pictures of a doctor, cow, parrot, and a shop. The word doctor is the name of a person, right? And next, the word cow is the name of an animal, right? And the word parrot is the name of a bird. And the word shop is the name of a place, right? And here we have a picture of a camera. And the word camera is the name of a thing, right? So, all these words, the words doctor, cow, parrot, and a shop are all naming words, all right? Now, I want everyone to turn to page 6. Here it says, underline the naming words in the following sentences and then write the words in the correct columns at the bottom, here at the bottom. Okay, the first sentence we have, the postman has brought a letter. So here, you are going to underline postman and you are going to write it here at the bottom of the page under names of persons. And you are going to underline letter and you are going to write it under names of things. Alright! Since you don't have your notebooks yet, I will send a picture of this page and I want all of you to look carefully at these sentences and write down the names of persons, names of animals and birds, names of places, names of things in your notebook. All right. So today we have studied naming words. Naming words are the names of a person, name of an animal or a bird, name of a place, and name of a thing. And naming words are also called nouns. I hope everyone have understood today's lesson and I want everyone to do your homework carefully, alright? That's all for today. Thank you.